Okay, so as a continuation of our signs of the radiology series, we will present a few minutes of some important signs of the chest and uh, at the coming days we might continue them okay well, we'll start by simple ones and work our, our way up from there uh, some of the signs that we might face in our daily life are really silly okay like this one for example this sign has sharp edges so why do you put it okay and this is another silly one learn to fly Okay, so first sign is we'll talk about, I think we need all to review our basics, is the air bronchogram sign. What's an air bronchogram sign? When you have pneumonia uh, or consolidation, infiltrates, inflammatory infiltrates, exudates, uh, cells, I don't know what, will start to fill the alveoli, but will not fill the bronchi or the airways, just the alveoli, okay? And this will result in the air space, that is the alveolar space, being dense, while the airway filled with air. Air is black, dense is white, okay? So you will have the air in the bronchi and the airways black against uh, against a white background okay you can obviously see some I will show you some other examples don't worry black airways against a white background and this indicates consolidation when the airways do we always see air bronchogram in consolidation no but when we say it when we see it it is more in favor of consolidation when the airway guts also occluded we will have collapse. So with the bronchogram, usually it is no, no volume loss. When there is no air bronchogram, you might have volume loss, which indicates more severe progression. Okay, so air bronchogram, does it always improve uh, equals pneumonia? No, it does not. It means the alveoli are filled with something. Can be fluid, can be cells can be blood can be whatever okay but what it indicates is the alveoli are filled with material while the airways are not and it implies that there is usually no volume loss when you have loss of air bronchogram might indicate a collapse or a volume loss okay it's also can be seen in severe fibrotic lung process you can see it the air, air space the alveoli are white because they are filled with something okay while the airways are black normally we don't see that because the alveoli contains air and the airway contain air so black against the black equals black okay another example here you can see the air bronchogram here 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 it, this is a case of uh, pulmonary hemorrhage okay another example you can see here this is an area of airspace opacification we might see a bronchogram we might not if we see it it is more in favor of airspace opacification without collapse okay if you don't see it and it is important for whatever reason you just order a CT scan and you can obviously see the air bronchogram here confirming that there is airspace opacification without volume loss, okay? And just a diagrammatic representation. Here is the air uh, alveoli and it is filled with material while the airways are not, okay? Just like here, it's been opacified by some uh, material, okay? This? This is bronchogram, yes. So, something called air alveolo, alveologram sign, okay? The air alveologram sign, it is just the same thing that the alveoli are filled with materials just in, in a limited pattern, 
not as diffuse as in consolidation. So in fact, it does not, uh, just means that the alveoli are filled with materials. Could be, again, fluid, could be cells, could be hemorrhage, could be exudate, could be transudate, whatever. The alveoli are dense. So it's air alveologram. Okay? Like here and here, you can see this. There is another sign we will talk about it's called the positive bronchus sign. Positive bronchus sign, what does it mean? There is a CT finding of airways leading into or present with a nodule, predicting a higher likelihood of positive bronchoscopy result. It's common in bronchoalveolar carcinoma. What does that mean? When you see a nodule on our daily practice, we see a lot of lung nodules, okay? If you see a bronchus leading into that nodule, okay, it has a positive predictive value that bronchoalveolar lavage or brush or whatever will result in positive result, uh, positive uh, cytology or bacteriology, okay? So you need to notice that. You can see this is the nodule and there is a bronchus leading to it, okay? Also in this magnified view, you can see the nodule, the bronchus leading to the, or bronchial, not bronchus, sorry, bronchial leading to the nodule. This indicates that this nodule is open into the airway, into the air space, okay? It is like some sort of endobronchial spread of, of a pathology. Okay, and bronchoscopy or lavage or cytology or brush, whatever, more predictive that it will be positive. Okay, a sign that we are all we hear it very commonly every day practice is the silhouette sign. So, uh, there is someone called Etienne Silhouette. I don't know who's that. He's uh, some. He, he, they previously, poor people when they don't have mobiles and cameras and things like that, so they just hire painters to paint them. The rich people just get uh, some painter and gives him a lot of money to paint them. While the poor people they just go behind a curtain or something and they just trace the silhouette of the person on the white uh, board. Okay, it's cheaper this way. And we use that for uh, our radiology practice. What do we mean? Simply, it's a simple rule. If intrathoracic soft tissue density touches a border of the heart, diaphragm, or aorta, you will not see the, the interface between them. If it does not touch it, you will see the interface between them. For example, if you have this water tank and you put another water sack or bag inside it, if you they are touching, the water keys is inside it. The sack is inside the water tank. They are touching. They are of the same density. You will not be able to see the bag inside it. If it is behind it, they are not touching. You will be able to see it. Try it at home. Okay? This is the silhouette sign. As simple as that. Okay? For example, if you hear someone put, like, I don't know, a ball at the back of the pe this person's head, you will not be able to see the interface between them. If, there is, if they are not in contact with each other, you will be able to see the silhouette. Okay? For example, wh what do we have the the borders that can help us. This is the silver sign is used primarily for localization. We can know where is the opacity using the silhouette sign. For example, you need to see the right diaphragm or our opacity might silhouette the right diaphragm, the right heart border, the ascending aorta, the aortic knob, the left heart border, the descending aorta and the left hemidiaphragm all should be clearly seen. If they are not, there might be something silhouetting them, okay? For example, this here, it's an airspace opacification, some sort of consolidation. You can see the right hemidiaphragm? Yes, I can. So it is not in contact with the right hemidiaphragm. Can you see the right heart border? No, it's not. So I, this is the right heart border, the normal one. It should be sharp. 
if I can't see it as sharp as that, then there is something in contact with the right heart border. Indicate what, what part of the lung that is in contact with the right heart border. You can easily, looking at this uh, table, the right heart border is with the right middle or the medial segment of the right middle lung lobe. Okay, so the right middle lung lobe is usually silhouettes the right heart border. Okay, we can easily know that there is a consolidation in the right middle lung lobe silhouetting the right heart border. It's used for localization. Another example you can see here. It's also the middle lung lobe, but it is not silhouetting the right heart border. Why? Because it's the lateral segment of the right heart border. It's not in contact with the right heart border. So it's not silhouetting the right heart. Okay? It's also in the middle lung lobe, but it is not the medial segment. So it is not silhouetting the right heart border. Okay? Get it? Good. So. Describe the PA of this lateral chest X-ray. Yeah. What do you think the PA view will be? Sorry? The PA view Okay. Okay. Right, middle lobe, collapse. collapse. And this is the PA view of this lateral chest X-ray. It is exactly as you described. You can see there is an airspace opacification here. It is silhouetting the right heart border, indicating it is um, at least the medial segment of the right middle lung lobe is affected. At least, maybe the both middle and lateral segment. Medial, sorry, medial and lateral segments. And you can obviously see the air bronchogram here confirming that it is a consolidation rather than a collapse or a volume losing process, okay? Uh, I think we can stop here and maybe we continue later on on uh, another occasion. Thank you very much.